the cat toy lady and today I'm going to teach you another easy way to make a kick pillow for your cat. What you need is just a pair of men's socks from the dollar store. They come in lots of fun patterns. Myself, I like Argyle. One of the bags of catnip, also from the dollar store, and some polyfill. In the way of tools, you'll need scissors, a needle, and thread. Everything we're doing today can be easily hand stitched. Start with your socks. Go ahead and just take the packaging off. You can use just one sock, or if you want to go crazy, you could double it up and attach them end to end. But today we're just going to do a normal size cake pillow. So take one of your socks and flip it inside out. When you turn it inside out, put the heel to one of the flat sides. What we're going to do is we're going to sew up the heel because we want a straight two for the cat to be able to kick at without any edges that they'll be able to get caught on easily. Once you have your sock lying flat, you can kind of squish together and feel the heel area. And what we're going to do is right where my two fingers are lined up, we're going to sew right along here to get rid of the heel. Just run your needle and thread along that edge. To make it easier, you can go ahead and fold your sock in half and you can feel that seam of the other side of your sock, the reverse side, and you're gonna sew just on the other side of it. That way you're not sewing the sock completely shut, but you have a good line to be able to measure where to sew. And I'm just doing a nice, quick running stitch. Once you've sewn up your heel, flip your sock back right side out. Voila, no heel. Now comes the easy part. We're just going to add some catnip, then some stuffing, some more catnip and stuffing back and forth. That way we have catnip all throughout the kicker. Your cat's gonna love all the catnip in it. And hey, it's only a dollar. To make it easy, I'm gathering up my sock. That way I can get the catnip to the very toe of it. Add a little bit more catnip now that you added your polyfill and stuff it again. And I want my kicker to be nice and fat so that they can really hold on to kind of like a tree branch. I want them to be able to wrap their feet around it and really start rabbit kicking on it. All right, now that you have your kicker nice and stuffed and packed, I don't wanna leave a straight line. So what I'm gonna do is a running stitch around the entire thing and so I can be able to cinch it shut. All right, now we're just gonna pull it shut and tie our knot. And it's done, it's like a giant sausage and your cat is going to love you for it. Super easy, super cheap. Let's go see how my kitties like it. big hit. Cindy didn't want to let any of the other cats play with it. She's finally come of age where she can finally notice catnip and it's all she wants. So it looks like I'll be using that other sock and making a second one of these. Do you think you would want to make it for your cat? If so, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. I have plenty more toys to come. Now go make your cat some toys.